Hey YouTube and welcome. Today we'll do about a 10 minute flow, maybe a little longer than that. And the guiding principle is that the body is this natural healing, self-healing animal. And if we just sort of intuitively let it move, it will usually move us in the direction of A, healing, and then B, optimal functioning, both strengthening and opening. We've got to give it the chance. So here we are giving it a chance. Let's find a seated position, lifting the heart, relaxing the shoulders, and with the eyes closed, let's just tune into breathing. Nose breath, if you can, allow it to slow and deepen. With your next exhale, get so empty that you've got to engage your abdominal wall in order to empty all the way out. Keep a little of that engagement, even as you expand again at the ribs, sitting tall, moving in all directions, open. And then one more time, exhale, empty all the way till the abdomen, the abdomen works. Keep it a little engaged as you inhale, expand in 360 degrees around the ribs. We're gonna keep on going. So let's move to the back of the mat now. Sit on the heels, empty out backs of the hands together, round. As you inhale, come high onto knees, open the arms and open the heart, lift. Then do that again, exhale, sit back, so the hands together, empty. Inhale, up on knees, open. Last time, exhale, back. Inhale, open. Okay, exhale, we're gonna to start to build on now. So exhale, empty again. This time as you come high onto knees, step the right foot forward, little to the right. You could cushion underneath that left knee if you like. Reach up tall and then tip over to your right. Inhale through center, open the arms and take a twist to the right. Inhale to the left, take big arms and make a kind of a peaceful warrior, but you're down on the knee. So left hand slides, right arm lifts. Let's breathe. And then you'll roll the right hand down, touching floor or block as you straighten the left leg. You can even lift those toes and make like triangle. So you're long in the spine, left arm lifts. Let's breathe. Roll down, put a bend in the right knee, and then step into hands and knees. Melt the belly, look up for cow arching. Exhale, push the ground and empty for cat. Come on into neutral. I'm gonna practice a knees down chaturanga by sending the chest and hips forward. Point the elbows back. We'll stay hugged in at the belly and ribs as you lower all the way this time to the ground. Lift the shoulders and then lift to cobra. Exhale, dip it all the way down, roll over the knees. And then you'll send the hips back. Backs of the hands together, empty out completely. When you inhale, sit tall in the knees, step the left foot forward, a little to the left, reaching up. And then over to the left. Through center. Take a twist to the left, open the arms as you do it. Back through the center, big arms to get to a kind of peaceful warrior shape with the knee down. So right hand slides, left arm lifts. Connect a big open heart. Come on.
Come on up. You'll straighten that left leg as you touch down to the floor. You're creating a kind of triangle. So the left toes lift. Open the front body. Reach up. Inhale. And then exhale, roll down. You can bend that left knee. Step once again into all fours. Spread the fingers, this time right away. You're gonna send the chest forward, hips forward. Elbows point back as you lower. Hovering now, like a chaturanga. Then you'll push it right back up. Take cow pose, look up. And then get cat. Tuck the toes. Find downward facing dog. You can move around. Okay, look forward, step the right foot outside, right hand. Roll the left arm up so you catch a twist. Powerful in the legs. If you want to, step the foot halfway back, okay? Or take a complete side plank, your choice. Three full breaths. Look at the top of the mat, step the right foot to the top. Plant your hands, step to plank position, inhale. Exhale, lower in the way you love to. Could be through chaturanga. Inhale to up dog or cobra. Exhale to downward facing dog. And we'll step the left foot outside, left hand. Powerful legs as you reach the left arm up. Big breathing. You can stay here or step it halfway back or even all the way back for full side plank. Three sounding breaths. Last breath. Step the left foot to the top of the mat. Plant your hands, this time right foot steps outside the right hand. Let's sink low in Malasana. I'm gonna give you just a playful little inversion time right now if you want to. So you're gonna plant your hands and try clapping your feet together to start catching a little control in handstand. Right, totally playful, you can opt out and maybe roll back into shoulder stand, anything you're craving, let's have a go. One or two more. back again at our squat and this time we're gonna sit all the way back recline take the soles of the feet together knees wide you can reach up overhead grab your elbows and you're actually gonna squeeze your bum like you're trying actively to get the outer knees down you can even rock them left and right this is active opening for the inner legs And then bring the knees together, plant your feet, and do a body scan. If you were to do one back bend right now, what would be the best back bend for you? Yeah, I love me a fish at this point, so I'm gonna do a fish variation. Feel free to join. I'm gonna keep the knees bent for now. Take hands underneath the seat, palms facing up this time. Take your elbows in close, lift the chest, and plant the head. Maybe you take prayer hands, 
or even reach the arms forward. Replant elbows, lift the chin, lengthen the neck, and even massage it as you rock the knees from left to right. Okay, we'll spread out, taking a brief Shavasana today. Sort of setting the imprint of a practice. And giving the mind some space. Feel free to stay longer, but if you're limited on time today, we'll climb back up for a seat and just some final words before we run off. Uh, if you like this class and want to see the longer version, I have a version of this class that's 30 minutes long and a version of this class that's 60 minutes long on my, um, on my yoga portal. I'd love to see you there. It's over at leahbelleryoga.com. And if not, that's okay too. I'm going to have more short classes coming right here on YouTube. Let's connect inward and just recognize one more time that intention we set, and that is to allow the body to kind of be its own guide. And notice its signals and trust its wisdom. Be well. <laughs>